Hello, Driving Intelligence community. October's here in South Carolina. That definitely means that it's starting to get a little cooler, but in the summer, it's really humid, it's hot. And since Abe and I use this truck to do a lot of hiking and we get extremely sweaty and dirty, it needs an interior cleaning for the winter. Uh, one of the things that gets pretty nasty are the seat belts. And given this truck was also owned by a smoker previously, uh, the seat belts are really nasty. I was, I've been able to clean the entire interior, but never really do a good job on the seat belts. So I want to get the sweat out. I want to get the nicotine out. I'm going to use a method today to get these things clean. Hopefully it works, so follow along. Here the seatbelt looks relatively clean, but as I pull it out of the retractor, look how nasty that gets. That's pretty bad on a gray seatbelt. If you got a tan seatbelt, it probably looks just as bad. The black ones probably don't look so bad, but it's just kind of nasty to me. And probably all that dirt and grime is not good for the seatbelt anyway. So I gotta pull this thing out to get it cleaned. In order to do this, I'm gonna disconnect this end, which is held in by one bolt onto the seat, at least on this model, where I have the seat integrated belts. I'm not gonna take it off this end, but to get to this, I need to take this panel off. This snaps off. There's a couple of Phillips head screws along here, and it snaps in the back. So I'm gonna get this assembly off, and then uh, we're gonna disconnect this and go from there. With a little more light, you can just see how horribly bad this is. It's just disgusting. So I've uh, already disconnected it from the bottom here after taking that panel off. And I'm going to completely extend the belt from the retractor and stretch it out across the truck. I've used a bungee cord to pull this all the way across the truck to the back, connected it to the tailgate. I'm gonna suds this thing up first with my pressure washer. And then I will use the high pressure to get it off. Now you gotta be careful here. You don't want your pressure washer to take off your pinstriping. So I'm gonna hold it down lower when I get to those areas. I'm using a strong detergent cleaner like dish soap, but I am not using a solvent, something that would uh, destroy the fabric. So uh, something that is safe on fabrics is what you wanna use here. Here you can see the dirt coming off and I've just put a layer of soap. I haven't even started pressure washing it yet, so it's pretty filthy. So I'm almost finished with my first pass and those are some areas that I haven't hit yet. So you can see how filthy it was and how clean it's getting. The belt is much cleaner. There's still a little bit of dirt on the fringes, but that's all right. The amount of dirt that came off was crazy. Uh, I appreciate if you do this at your own risk in terms of, you know, the damage to your belt. My belt's not damaged, it's still good. And in my opinion, getting all that dirt out is gonna make the belt last longer. All right, well, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Please comment, subscribe. See you next time on Driving Intelligence. Sun-dried cleanliness. I like cleanliness.